Saudi Arabia, they showed off a super realistic robot named Sarah that can think for itself because of AI. Then in China, a robot called Yunri did a backflip without any help, beating the American Atlas robot. Also, a robot in Norway called One X getting smarter really fast because of AI. Soon, robots may take over some jobs in factories like how Agility Robotics made a way to control lots of worker robots. And there's a new 3D printer called Revolution AR that's super fast and cheap, making big houses. These are just a few highlights from the world of high-tech advancements. Let's get started. Android Sara by QSS, AAI, and Robots in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia This humanoid robot is unique in that it adheres strictly to Saudi Arabian cultural norms and traditions, avoiding discussions related to intimacy and politics. Sarah is designed to be modest yet friendly, always maintaining politeness in conversations. She was developed using a large language model specifically tailored to Saudi Arabia's linguistic and cultural nuances rather than relying on existing models available on the market. The company behind Sarah, QSS, AAI, and Robots took a customized approach to develop her AI capabilities. They created their own neural network that can convert text into voice responses, understand oral speech, and demonstrate a deep understanding of Saudi Arabian culture. This involved training the model on a dataset consisting of text written within the country. Ali Mitri, the CEO of QSS AAI and Robots, mentioned that Sarah exhibits a semblance of self-awareness. She is aware of her identity as a female humanoid, knows her age at 25 years old, height 162 centimeters, and dresses in traditional Saudi clothing. Sarah is bilingual, proficient in both English and Arabic. The introduction of Sarah marks a significant milestone for Saudi Arabia in the field of robotics and artificial intelligence. While the country is often associated with the globally famous robot Sophia, who was granted Saudi citizenship in 2017, Sophia was actually created by Hanson Robotics based in Hong Kong. Sarah represents a locally developed humanoid robot showcasing Saudi Arabia's growing capabilities and contributions to the robotics industry. It's also worth mentioning another humanoid robot introduced by QSS AAI and robots named Muhammad. However, Muhammad was involved in a controversy related to harassment during a press conference when his hand accidentally touched a journalist. This incident sparked outrage outline primarily from users in Western countries while it was viewed differently within Saudi Arabia. In a separate development, the Norwegian robotic manufacturer One X has been making rapid advancements in humanoid robots thanks to artificial intelligence. Their collaboration with OpenAI has led to impressive demonstrations of their robot's capabilities. For example, the robot Eve showcased multitasking abilities such as unpacking groceries, deciding where to place them, and using soft tools to clean up spills autonomously. These advancements are seen as significant steps forward in the development of humanoid robots capable of complex tasks and interactions. Overall, the progress in humanoid robotics, as evidenced by Sarah and other developments like One XS robots, signifies a GP3 moment for robotics, referring to a rapid leap in capabilities akin to what OpenAI's GP3 achieved for natural language processing. The ultimate goal for companies like QSS, AAI, and Robots, and One X is to continue refining their models to enable billions of humanoid robots to seamlessly interact with humans in their environments. The Chinese company Yunri made history with its two-legged robot H1, becoming the first android to perform a backflip while standing without using hydraulics. H1 achieved this feat using its own electric motors, each capable of generating a peak torque of 360 newton meters. Standing at 1.8 meters tall and weighing 47 kilograms, H1 has already broken records with its running speed of 12 kilometers per hour and is expected to get even faster in the future. Unlike humanoid robots like Boston Dynamics' Atlas, which rely on heavy and potentially non-sealed hydraulics for backflips, H1 uses its electric motors exclusively. 
Each leg of H1 has three degrees of freedom at the hip, one at the knee, and one at the ankle, while its upper limbs have four degrees of freedom each. This design ensures that all cables are internal, preventing the robot from getting caught on obstacles and giving it a sleek appearance. While the backflip is impressive, the real-world application of such skills are still challenging to find. However, H1 is capable of practical actions like speed walking, climbing stairs, jumping, and even dancing. It can carry up to 30 kilograms of payload, although it currently lacks hand grippers like Tesla's Optimus or Figure 01. Equipped with an array of sensors on its head, including a 3D LiDAR and an Intel RealSense depth camera for environmental scanning, H1 is designed for versatility. Its specification include a replaceable battery with a capacity of 864 watt-hours, but these details may change as development progresses. The company anticipates the commercial version of H1 will achieve a maximum travel speed of around 18 km per hour. However, it could take up to 10 years for this advanced robot to become available on the market with an estimated price tag of $90,000. Agility Robotics has introduced a new platform designed to manage large numbers of worker robots efficiently. While companies today might not be testing a few or a dozen worker robots in their factories, the future holds the potential for hundreds of these robots working together. Agility Robotics saw this coming and developed the ARC platform, which enables seamless control and coordination of an entire workshop of humanoid robots. In the industrial market, where giants like Amazon, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz are eagerly awaiting supplies of hundreds of robots, efficient management becomes crucial. Agility Robotics aim to be a leader in this field by offering a platform that can program multiple robots simultaneously for various tasks. For instance, in a factory setting, 20 robots could work together to unload trucks, while another 10 could sort and stack boxes onto pallets. Meanwhile, additional robots could handle transporting goods to conveyor belts, all coordinated seamlessly through the ARC platform. Agility Robotics has already made strides in this direction with their robot named Digit, which is operational in warehouses for companies like Amazon and GXO Logistics. To meet the growing demand, Agility Robotics is setting up a manufacturing facility called RoboFab in Oregon, where they plan to produce up to 10,000 humanoid robots each year. The new 3D printer by Icon is making waves for its remarkable speed and affordability in printing large two-story houses. Icon, a Texas-based company known for its 3D printers, recently demonstrated its latest model, Phoenix, by constructing a two-story house in Austin. This new printer is not only fast but also easy to set up and move around, requiring fewer operators to handle big projects efficiently. What's more, it's twice as cost-effective as Icon's previous generation of printers. The Phoenix 3D printer features a large articulated arm on the rotating base, designed for mobility and autonomy compared to the fixed columns and cross beams of its predecessor, Vulcan. Using this system costs about $25 per square foot for wall systems and $80 per square foot for the foundation and roof, potentially saving around $25,000 on building a typical American house. Icon believes that the future of construction and design lies in artificial intelligence, introducing their AI system called Bruce. This AI system can swiftly generate house designs that are compatible with 3D printing technology. If you found this information interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.